Hey Taurus, welcome back to my channel. I hope you guys are doing well. Happy birthday once again, Taurus. I hope you guys are enjoying your birthday month. Um, my birthday is on the 20th, so I, I don't even know what I'm doing for my birthday, guys. But um, yeah, so happy birthday to you all. Let's see what's going on with you guys, Taurus. Let's see what the message is for today. So Taurus, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and North Node. Please remember, guys, that other people can show up in your energy, so flip the roles, okay? And also remember to just take what resonates and leave what does not fit. So let's see, Taurus. What do we have going on for Taurus spirit? Messages for Taurus. Messages for Taurus. What's going on for Taurus? So bottom of the deck, we have ship, okay? So some of you guys could be moving, okay? Some of you guys could be taking a vacation, maybe a cruise. You're going on a cruise ship here. You could be moving for business opportunities, okay? But you could be going long distance, okay? Some of you guys could be dealing with somebody that's at a distance. Let's see. But you're on a path here. You're on a journey, possibly. Well, everybody's on a journey, really. So that's a given. And then we have tower. Bottom of the deck, we have surprise. So there could be a surprise coming in, Taurus. Um, somebody could be traveling to see you here to surprise you. Or this journey that you're going on is a surprise. I feel like something is going to be shocking. Some of you guys are in separation with someone right now. But let's see what this is talking about here. You're moving away from someone. Taurus. What's going on for Taurus spirit? Sun, rising Venus, and North Node. What's going on for Taurus? Clarify this energy here for Taurus. Let's see. Okay, bottom of the deck, we have Knight of Water. So this is Knight of Cups. Yeah, love offer is coming in here. This is somebody that wants to romance you, wants to take you out. Somebody here could like um, Polo, like Ralph Lauren. Okay, somebody's name could be Ralph or Lauren. <laughs> um... I feel like somebody wants to take you horseback riding. Some of you guys could live near a farm or maybe that's your date. But there is somebody that um, this person could really like nature here. They could be very intuitive as well. But there's a date coming to us. Okay. This is somebody that's very romantic. This could be someone that you're dating. But there is a love offer coming in. What else for Taurus? Coming in for Taurus. Okay, we have Ace of Swords. So, truth, clarity. Communication could be coming in. Somebody could... There, there's going to be like a tower moment, like a breakthrough here. You're, you're receiving some clarity about something here. It could be about this person that wants to come in. Your intuition is really heightened at this time. But the Ace of Swords talks about mental clarity. Um, clearing up some confusion coming out of a state of illusions here you're definitely being guided with this angel right here or somebody's being guided to you here to bring some type of clarity to you i feel like somebody wants to be honest about their feelings you could have left this person out in the cold this person could be an air sign aquarius libra gemini or a water sign what else yeah the lovers gemini energy so a relationship is coming in or forming Taurus, or you could be connecting to someone. Yeah, the divine, there's a purpose here for a relationship. There could be a choice that you have to make between two lovers, Taurus. Okay, but yeah, I feel like somebody wants to speak their truth about this relationship here because I feel like it's already one that's formed. It's just maybe somebody hasn't been true about their feelings or or somebody wants to apologize or express something. What else is coming in for Taurus? Okay, yeah, Ten of Cups in reverse and the Knight of uh, Swords in reverse. I feel like somebody has missed an opportunity with you, Taurus. Knight of Swords in reverse is... um. 
missed opportunities or or somebody feeling like you're out of their depth or out of their depth or out of their league here the knight of souls in reverse could also mean that somebody is like upset or or they could be very violent maybe somebody wants to clear the air about somebody here that's been very violent this could be someone in someone's family here whoever this person is that's coming in for you taurus they've experienced a breakup they miss you though i feel like you feel like home to someone somebody's very emotionally unfulfilled and unsatisfied here with what's going on could definitely be an air sign or a water sign or yeah gemini is an air sign doesn't have to be a gemini some of you guys could be in the Taurus gemini cusp but the ten of cups in reverse is an unhappy family a breakup a separation somebody here feels like i feel like someone feels like they lost you not as swords as somebody that's a liar too so i feel like somebody has lied to you but now i feel like something is, is wanting to come out so this person can live at a distance they want to or you guys are just emotionally distant right now or like you guys just aren't connecting oh that's my dryer so king of swords here nine of swords yeah somebody's worried at the bottom of the deck somebody is definitely worried i feel like because this person has left you out in the cold here okay but the king of so a uh, king of um some of you guys could be, be connecting to a fire sign aries leo sagittarius okay taurus but i feel like somebody definitely does want to come and take action here the king of um king of wands here king of wands king of fire so you could be connecting to an air a air sign or a fire sign maybe you have to make a choice between two Taurus, but the King of Wands talks about somebody that's very courageous and they're going to be bold and do what they need to do. They're very passionate. Okay, this is somebody with a fire in their chart, maybe, but let's see. Hmm. Let's see what's going on. What's going on with this Knight of Cups? Knight of Water for Taurus. What's going on with the Knight of Cups for Taurus? a death card yeah i feel like you ended something with someone could be a scorpio what's, what's going on with this knight of water for taurus knight of cups yeah <laughs> somebody from your past wants your forgiveness the lovers again yeah somebody from your past wants your forgiveness here taurus this is somebody that's coming in from your past okay i feel like they have an announcement to make or something to say i feel like somebody has been holding this in for a while and they're being guided to do this I feel like you're being called to forgive this person. Doesn't mean that you have to take them back, but for your own sanity and your own peace and for you to move on to the next level, Taurus, I feel like spirit is calling you to forgive, okay? Um, somebody is learning some type of karmic lesson, has been through something here. I feel like it's, it's involving their emotions. It could be their family life or this is you, flip the roles. But somebody from your past is definitely coming back because they want to, um, they want a second chance, it looks like. This is somebody that you already know. Yeah, somebody wants to apologize and express their feelings as well. Maybe they haven't been too emotional with you or vulnerable with you. But this is the judgment is definitely talking about um, somebody that wants your forgiveness. This person could have went through some karma for whatever they did. Yeah, I feel like I feel I feel like this person feels that you don't feel the same way about them anymore. What's going on with this Ace of Swords? Yeah, wow. Knight of Cups in reverse. So, yeah, this is someone here that's broken their promise. Okay, I feel like they don't want to confront you, though. Knight of Cups in reverse is definitely somebody that's not com confrontational. They don't like confrontation. They, they're, I'm, I wouldn't say that they're scared, but, um, you know, they, they don't like. They don't know how to solve issues like a mature adult, put it that way. And I feel like they're a bit cowardly, okay? This person here um, didn't keep their promises in the past, and they definitely deceived you in a way. This person could have cheated on you, or they got involved with someone else and didn't tell you about it. What's this Knight of Cups in reverse about? Yeah, the Temperance. Could be a Sagittarius or Virgo or a Gemini. Yeah, but this there, there's love here. This person's in love with you. They're looking at this relationship from a different perspective. I feel like you took your power back, but they're definitely manifesting an opportunity to balance things out with you with the temperance. They actually want to pour into you now. They, This is somebody that's um, 
this is a very spiritual connection too. the temperance the judgment the lovers i just feel like this is a very spiritual connection you guys have a purpose here this is the journey that you're on okay um and i feel like it's going to be shocking here when this person comes in definitely somebody from your past yeah that's that's coming back that wants to balance things with you the temperance is reconciliation soulmate energy but this all had to happen in divine timing and I feel like divine timing is now for this person to come in and apologize. I feel like they just left you out in the cold. They didn't apologize. They didn't say anything. And I feel like you took your power back from this person with the magician. Yeah. What's the lovers? So I feel like someone's intuition was blocked here as well. Like they weren't following their intuition. Okay. And they very they were very deceptive to you here. What's the lovers? And, um, spirit. The Taurus. What's the lovers? Okay, yeah, nine of wands. Yeah, in reverse. So somebody here wants to let their guards down. Some of you guys, Taurus, you could be connecting to somebody new and you're letting your guards down for this new person. But for others of you, um, there's somebody, I feel like you just feel like you couldn't work with someone. It's like beating a dead horse. Somebody's very stubborn or arrogant or they think they know everything. And I feel like this person here would not compromise with you. They would not, you know, surrender to the connection and just let things flow. This person could have been very sexual with you as well. They just, I don't know, but their emotions was out of this here. So now they want to apologize for not giving you what you deserve in this relationship. What's this nine of wands in reverse? Some of you guys are learning how to put your guards down here and uh, kind of like let things flow with, uh, you know, when it comes down to your love life or just in general. What's the nine of wands in reverse? Yeah, the ace of swords again, yeah. So, so this person here could want to tell you about another person that they've connected to. Yeah, five of swords. There's like some manipulation and some, some, you know, mind games here. But the ace of swords, again, clarifying the ace of swords, you know, it's, it's syncing up. So this is a very significant relationship. Okay, that I feel like you're receiving clarity about. Um, there's definitely some clarity coming. Nine of wands, though, is like giving up. It could mean that this person just, yeah, I feel like somebody just wants to let their guards down and tell you the truth and be honest about something. There's going to be a, a opportunity that comes in for that, for this truth and clarity. I feel like a whole bunch of shit is getting ready to come out, though, Taurus. <laughs> no lie. What's this Ten of Cups in reverse? Somebody's been thinking a lot, too, trying to brainstorm different ways to bring this offer to you and say what they need to say what's the ten of cups in reverse okay the moon cancer energy and then we have yet a seven of swords yeah cheating lying deception this person's family could have deceived them in a way but they deceived you about this family or these friends or whatever but there's definitely been a lot of um yeah now somebody wants a commitment Six of Cups, the Hierophant, Eight of Wands. There's something here that's taken off pretty quickly with the past life connection or there's communication coming in about this person's past or this is you. But I feel like you were some type of guide to this person or you told this person something about what they were going through. Maybe you tried to help them in a way and they didn't listen. I don't know. But I feel like somebody's family has have been deceiving them. Somebody could be hiding a family or hiding the fact that they started a family with someone else. But there's a lot of deception going on here. In a family dynamic but i feel like this is the, this is representing them losing you with these ten of cups spilled over this happy family life or this happy whatever the child we're going to have i feel like it got ruined because they sabotaged it and it could be because of their own family or it could be because of karmic energy that they were dealing with but definitely some lies and deception here This person could have been scared to kind of like leave a, a, a family, a home or a family situation or something like that. So, that it, you know, they didn't want to, to look like a coward to you or whatever. So they just decided not to say anything. But yeah, if you were suspecting something about a family situation, you know, your intuition is correct. What's this Knight of Cup? I mean, Knight of Swords in reverse. Knight of Swords in reverse. Okay, Knight of Pentacles. What's this Knight of Swords in reverse with the Knight of Pentacles? Wow, Knight of Swords upright. 
This is crazy. The lovers, the fool. You could be dealing with an Aquarius. Definitely strong air here, Taurus. Um, or a Gemini, like I was saying. So, so something here was stagnant. This person was stuck somewhere. Or just stuck in their own. I feel like this is somebody that, stay, that stays in their head. But this Knight of Pentacles is this person rushing in to finish what they started with you. They're coming in more stable. They want to build something with you. They want to start from where things ended. Okay, with you and this person. I feel like it ended badly. This person definitely lied to you about something with the Knight of Swords in reverse. They weren't re very forthcoming and very honest about whatever the fuck this is. And they definitely missed an opportunity with you. They feel like they missed an opportunity. So this is why they're rushing in very aggressively. And, and I feel like this person feels like they're out of your league. So they stepped away to get their finances together. This person was coming in slow, but I feel like now they're speeding up. They're speeding up, but they're, they're a bit of a coward. And I feel like this person has some type of, they had some type of inferiority complex. Like they just thought they were the, the hottest thing out here. And they didn't want to listen to what you were saying or whatever. I feel like this person just told you, oh, I wanted to go with the flow. You know, I want to go with the flow, whatever. But yeah. There could be two people coming in. What's this Knight of Swords energy upright? Okay, four of pentacles. The Wheel of Fortune and the Five of Wands. So... There's some drama and some upheaval going on in this person's life. I feel like this, this Knight of Swords is also representing someone that is mad. There's offers coming in. I feel like from all type of ways. It could be from this person's family or this is yours. But I feel like your person here, this is your person. They're getting offers from somebody that's pissed off with them because they're not accepting their offer. They're like turning down their offer. They don't want it. And I feel like because somebody doesn't want it, that they're mad. And I feel like whoever this is is very possessive or controlling or whatever. But... There's definitely some upheaval, some fights and shit happening behind the scenes here that the universe is handling. Something that you just don't see, Taurus, maybe with your person or whatever. But this person here is holding on to you. They can't let you go. So they're rushing in very quick. And, and I feel like they're coming in. I don't know. You just got to be careful with this person because this person... I feel like with the Knight of Cups in reverse, I feel like they want your forgiveness. Yes, that's what this Knight of Cups in reverse is. I mean, Knight of Cups upright right here is giving me. They want your forgiveness, but with the Knight of Cups in reverse right here, they're not ready for a relationship or something like that. They want to be honest with you because they don't want any bad blood. That's what I feel like. They do. I feel like they do love you. They have feelings for you, but I don't know if they're ready for a relationship or not. That's what I, I like. I don't know. You're going to have to really use your intuition here about this because this person could still be lying about a family or whatever. But what's this King of uh, Wands, King of Fire for Taurus? Yeah, it's like something, you know, I don't know. What's this King of Wands? They could be, wow, King of Wands again. The synchronicities is crazy, Taurus, <laughs> for real. Um, what was I getting ready to say? They could be having money issues here. They could be low on funds or they're like penny pinching or, I don't know, this person could be rushing in because they need your help or whatever. But I feel like this is more so this person still being guarded or closed off as well as the fact that they want to stay in your energy and keep you though so it's like it's not really fair you know it's not fair about what they're doing but let's see what's this, what else for these two king of wands right here spirit so this person um okay yeah two of wands you're gonna have to make a decision to either go somewhere new with the ace of wands and continue to be single and work on your relationship with this new person or go to some someone else but i feel like this person here is coming in they made a decision here to come towards you. I feel like this person is very arrogant. They're cocky. You know, you're per this person, whoever. But this could be a new person here. This King of Wands. Who is this King of Wands right here, Spirit? Give me some more about the King of Wands. Wow, the Queen of Wands. Can't make it up, man. Cannot make it the fuck up. <laughs> What's going on with this King of Wands and this Queen of Wands? For some of you, this is your twin. Yeah, Page of Cups. So this person... 
there's somebody there's a fire sign here that wants to apologize to you or give you an offer this could be somebody that really is admiring you from afar you could live at a distance from this person but this is somebody that's matching you energetically this is somebody that's on your level you both look really good together for some of you this could be your twin for others of you this could be um just a connection here that you, you're making i mean that you're that you're starting with someone new here i feel like you're gonna have to make a choice Taurus. could be dealing with the virgo with the hermit yeah i feel like you're gonna go within to really figure out whatever this is but somebody is traveling towards you with the page of cups to apologize you could have children with this person or this this page of cups could just be somebody that's an admirer as well somebody that admires you yeah but there, there's an uh offer coming in there's some type of apology or um this could be somebody that you're flirting with or talking to but there's communication coming in with the page of cups I feel like there's somebody here that's coming in more practical, more grounded, more stable in their emotions. And then there's somebody else that's not. So you got to check how it resonates. But so let's pull a few of these for Taurus. What else does Taurus need to hear? Yeah, so there's communication, guys. And I feel like you and this person look really good together. There's intense passion between you and this person. Queen of Wands, King of Wands. <clears throat> Bottom of the deck is consider the big picture, perspective. Step back and try to get a different view of your situation. Seeing things from a soul level will give you clearer and higher perspective. So yeah, I feel like this person here wants to tell you something that you don't know about. And it, it might shift your perspective towards. It just might, you know, because there's. I feel like there's something going on within a family dynamic that they didn't tell you about or whatever. But I feel like this person has a lot to tell you. I just feel like they're scared or they feel like you're out of their league or you moved on or something. They feel like they missed an opportunity with you. What, what, what else for Taurus? We have your heart is safe. Open heart. Put down your defenses. Let go of the fear of vulnerability. Open your heart to receive the love of others. Allow yourself to have new experiences. So yeah, like I said, you could be letting your guards down and going towards someone new. But I feel like whoever this is that's coming back from your past as well, the spirit wants you to um go ahead and tell this person how you feel. Okay, whether they like it or not. I mean, you know, the spirit is also telling this person to open their heart because I feel like they've been very guarded apparently that's what it looks like it says call in your soul allies attraction what type of personalities have you attracted into your life set a kind fret set a fresh intention around the kind of people that you would like to meet in your future yeah so definitely um hmm. i feel like you are very attracted to somebody or somebody's very attracted to you but um, it's not the user intuition. What's going on for Taurus? <clears throat> Bottom of the deck is purpose. Doing the soul work, looking for meaning in life, discovering your life purpose, going on a spiritual journey. Yeah, definitely on a spiritual journey here. You and somebody are um could be twins. It says brick wall, insurmountable obstacle, blocked for your highest good, not able to make progress, time to do things different. So, yeah, something here has been blocked for your highest good, Taurus. I feel like um, somebody here is struggling to make progress in their life. So, you know, they can't be stable for you. You know, what else? One more. Oh, okay. We have passion, lustful desire, sexual connection with someone, new passion in life, active sex life. Yeah, you are very attracted to somebody with this King of Wands, Queen of Wands. I just see a lot of sex. King of Wands again. Somebody is, I don't know, this person here. <laughs> mm -mm. Oops. Time off. Taking time to relax, taking care of yourself first, doing things that make you happy, enjoying life more. Yeah, this person, I don't know if they're coming in for sex. I feel like they want to apologize to you in, in hopes that things can kind of like work out and they can have sex but i don't know taurus you you are connecting very um there's a lot of fire energy here 
you're very attracted to somebody they're very attracted to you there's somebody here that's matching your energy though so you could have a decision to make like i'm saying so i don't know y'all <laughs> y'all let me know in the comments what's going on okay taurus like comment subscribe turn your notification bell on to all so you guys can get all of my notifications when i post and i'll talk to you guys later bye